All right, you guys are back. Okay. We are back. So let's let's cover this article. Okay. Rapid chess. Actually, let me stop the music one second. Okay. All right. So we're back, everybody. We're going to cover this article. Here we go. Okay. Rapid Chess Championship $650,000 prize fund. Chess.com is thrilled to announce the Chess.com Rapid Chess Championship, our most elite event ever. The first RCC debuts with a prize fund of $650,000. uh one second sorry did the did, did, did the ad just start running or not maybe the ad just started running sorry um okay let, 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 let me refresh my page uh no okay there are no ads okay all right so let's let's start over then okay okay rapid chess championship championship six hundred fifty thousand dollar prize fund announcing the chess.com rapid chess championship with six hundred fifty thousand dollars in prizes Chess.com is thrilled to announce the Chess.com Rapid Chess Championship, our most elite event ever. The first RCC debuts with a prize fund of $650,000. This 25-week extravaganza begins on February 12th and culminates in a dramatic finale on August 28th. Only the best of the best will be playing. The top 100 in the world, the top 10 women, and the top 10 juniors will have a seat at the table. Okay. With only the strongest players comprising the field and the slower time control, fans can expect nothing but high-quality chess. Many top GMs like Fabiano Caruana, Anish Giri, Hikaru Nakamura, Wesley So, Maxime Vachey Lagrav, Levon Aronian, and more are expected to participate in this event regularly. All right, you guys. So, very, very exciting. Now, I want to say before we get, get into, the, into the meat of the article, when it says this 25-week extravaganza, keep in mind that unlike, unlike the tour where players get locked into having to play these very long events over nine days for uh, many, many months, in this event, you do not have to play every week. So don't, don't assume this is meaning you have to play every single week. Players will be able to play when they want to play. So it's not like I literally have to play on February 12th, February 19th, on and on and on forever. I can play a week here, commentate another week, not even do it. Um, but you're not forced to play every single week. So I do want to be very clear on that. Okay, so let's keep going. Caruana, seen here at the 2021 World Rapid and Bliss Championship, is one of many stars expected to play. All right, here we go. Uh, participants will also be allowed to stream this event under controlled chat disabled along with other stringent fair play requirement circumstances. This will provide a unique opportunity to offer viewers rare insights into high-level play, especially thanks to the rapid format. 10 plus 0 is the most popular time control on chess.com, but it is rarely used in top-level events. In this format, players will have more time to strategize their way to victory. That picture is definitely a weird picture, um, but anyway, it is what it is. Now, what I will say is I will obviously be streaming it, um, but but I will not have chat open. It'll, it'll be in e-mode mode anyway, but I won't have chat open when I'm playing the games, but then I'll turn on the second monitor as soon as the games are over and then go from there. All right. Okay, sorry. So here we keep going. Who doesn't want to hear Nakamura discuss his thought process in a 10-minute game against the world's best players? Speaking of Nakamura, here is what he had to say about the Chess.com Rapid Chess Championship. I'm hyped to play this event constructed by Chess.com in a way that seems to meet many of the top 100 players' needs. It's got a flexible structure, or flexible schedule, zero commitment, and, and yet seems to be a surefire hit with both fans and top players. With no additional demands being made by chess.com on the participants' time, it is really an ideal fit for so many schedules. Very well said by Hikaru. All right. So let's keep going. That's a picture of him. Junior players made big waves in 2021, and we are happy to provide a special opportunity for them to play against the best players in the world. Recently crowned World Rapid Champion GM Noderbeck Abdu Satarov and other top junior players will have a chance to shine against the world's elite on a more frequent basis. We look forward to more juniors entering the top 100 in 2022 and qualifying for the event. The mixture of, of top 100 players, the best juniors, and the top female players in the world will create some truly exciting matchups and provide incredible opportunities for the next generation to continue to hone their skills. So here's a picture of Noterbeck. Of course, he won the World Rapid Championship. The $650,000 prize fund is the biggest that Chess.com has ever offered, and it will be distributed throughout the entirety of the event. The first 25 weeks of the event will have 500,000 allocated, which equates to 20,000 on the line per week. The finals will have a $150,000 prize fund, as well as the title of 2022 Chess.com Rapid Champion. Chess.com CEO Eric is thrilled for Chess.com to be able to offer this event. 
As a fan, I cannot wait to see who becomes the first Chess.com Rapid Champion. As a Chess.com team member, I feel proud to be able to offer an opportunity to com compete in online chess in a format they enjoy with conditions they appreciate. All right, Eric, no last name. Yeah, that's Eric Alabest, of course, who's the CEO of Chess.com. All right. Um, so I don't think they actually, they didn't actually state the format, though, did they? Which I do know the format. Um, they didn't state the format, but I, I don't think, I, I think I'm allowed to say what it is. Um, but they say 10 plus O, but they, they don't say beyond that, right? They just say 10 O. Um, they say, they say 10 O. Um, so, so, so yeah. Oh, there, there's more to it. Oh, there, there is an article. Is this the wrong article? Let me pull this up. Oh, here we go. So this is, this is where they explain, they explain it. Okay. Okay. So this, this is a separate one. Um, all right. So what you're going to see is this, the first things we'll go through it step by step. First one is the schedule there. It's going to be February 12th, actually, but let me, let, let me step back. So you're going to see it says February 12th and February 13th. So what it is, is basically it's going to be a nine round Swiss on day one. I believe the top eight players, if I'm not mistaken, qualify to a knockout on Sunday and they, and the, they play the knockout on Sunday. So that I believe is the, um, is, is the format is February 12th and February 13th. Um, and then it, of course it goes 25 weeks. You have a break for the candidates. It comes back for these following weeks. One thing that I think is important to note about this is that it, you do not have to play every week. So with the Magnus tour, they basically, the way that it's structured is such that you would have to play more or less, I would say at least five or six of the events to have a chance to qualify for the tour final. This one, as I understand it, again, I, I was helpful with the format. I helped with the format, but I didn't, you know, it's not like I, I decided the whole thing. Um, uh, what 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 how this works is um is that basically you can play whenever you want to play and i believe you can also still play you can still play i believe in the uh in the finals as well so i think that's really really important did they discuss it with other top players um i do believe they did actually if we go back to the we go back to this article the fact that you see these other names listed here fabiano anish wesley maxime and levon listed here i think speaks to the fact that they um that they that they that they were were involved with it so so, so yes, that's, that's what I say. The, the only bit that I really had input in was like the, the format of like suggesting something that's got to be shorter in terms of having, I didn't have anything to do with like the time control or anything, anything of that nature. Um, uh, but, I, but I was asked, is this compatible with chess 24 tour? Uh, I definitely think it's, it's favorable. Now, the, what I will say, uh, is that I, I have a lot of issues with chess 24 people, no doubt have, are, are familiar with them to some degree. Um, First things first, the biggest issue that I have and many of the players have had is that the tournaments are very, very long. So it's not, it's not as though you play the event and it's two or three days. It's actually nine days long. Um, and when you have a tournament that's nine days long, at a certain point when you're playing event after event against the same players over and over and over again, it becomes very monotonous and frankly boring, for lack of a better way of putting it. Obviously, you want to be competitive, but it becomes very boring. And I think for the fans as well, when you have the same people playing every single time, um, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just not, it's not exciting. Now I do think 10 plus O I might actually ask chess.com. Maybe I think 10 plus O might be a little bit dubious. Maybe they should make it like 10 plus one or 10 plus two. Um, but at any rate, I do think that, uh, that it's much better where you don't have to play every single tournament. It's relatively short. Like say you have a bad day on February 12th. That's it. You go home. Now in the Magnus tour, for example, say you have a very bad first day. Yes. Maybe you can come back and qualify, but more likely than not, you're going to qualify. So you're stuck having to play additional days when you're just like, what am I doing? Why am I, why am I having to waste my time on this? Um, so I don't actually, um, I, I don't actually like that format. Additionally, there are many other issues, which is that many players are going to be, have very, very busy schedules this, this year. I will give just one example. I know Wesley, I'll, I'll just talk about him because I've spoken with him in the past. Um, Oh, it's 10-0 for Saturday, 10 plus 2 for the knockout. Right. Okay. Um, so so Wesley, for example, he I know that he he found it very, very difficult dealing with the constraints of all these things that are that, that were asked of him by chess 24 um while he's trying to prepare for over the board chess. Obviously, a lot of players have very busy schedules. Um, I'm gonna actually show something from the chess 24 website, uh, oddly enough. Um uh let, let me let me just show you this this very briefly. Um, so we can we can see this this uh I'm, I'm going to show you guys this, this as well. Don't worry. It's not, um, it's, I'm not trying. Okay. Let's go down to January. Let me adjust this so we can pull this up. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see this. Okay. So when we talk about why, why flexibility and structure is needed is that unlike 
2020, unlike 2020 and 2021, over the board is coming back. So I'm just going to go through the schedule so you guys see this, um, uh, so that you guys do see this. Okay. Okay. So here we go. January 2022. You have um, January 15th, 30th. You have Tata Steel Chess, Vicon Zay, Netherlands. Magnus, okay, I, I actually don't need to, re need to read the, the, whole, um, the whole description, but it says January 15th to 30th, Tata Steel. Okay, so this is over the board. January 24th to February 3rd, Gibraltar Battle of the Sex. Now, this is, this is a little bit of a different event, but regardless, you see the February, February 3rd, 3rd to 17th, FIDE Grand Prix 1. February 19th to 27th, you have their online tournament they're trying to run. Then right after that, this is February 19th to 27th, by the way, this is again, eight days long. You have the February 28th to March 14th. You have the FIDE Grand Prix number two. So already right there, you see, here's, here's the problem. Um, right here, they're basically asking players to commit to a tournament that's eight, day, eight, eight or nine days long. Um, and then the very next day, there's the, there's the Grand Prix in Belgrade, Serbia. So already you run into this problem where you're trying to have a long event and you have an over-the-board tournament that's very important um, happening the next day. So this is the problem. Then, of course, you see there's the Bundesliga. Now they're trying to hold meltwater again here in March. Again, March 19th to 27th, they're trying to hold a meltwater tournament. But you'll notice at the exact same time, March 21st to April 4th, there's the third FIDE Grand Prix. So already you're seeing this big buildup and this problem with players having these very busy schedules playing over the board chess. And then you, you have to somehow have this online tour. So that's why what I think chess.com is doing is much, much better because you're talking two days. So it's like two days. You aren't locked into a very long tournament. And um, I think for a lot of players, considering that over the board is back, it's it's a big improvement. It's very, very big improvement. Um, they should change their dates, but it's not as easy as that. This is what I'm saying. So now look here. Also, during the same period in March, you have the European Individual Chess Championship, which is happening in Slovenia. Again, third conflict right here in March alone. So you see this. Then April 6th to 12th, there's the Reykjavik Open, which is being held in Reykjavik, Iceland. Um, and then again, now trying to hold another meltwater tournament here from the 20th to 28th, you have Metropa cup, probably not relevant, um, in terms of top players, but you're seeing already many, many events. And then additionally, you're seeing, let's say you're a Russian player here. You see meltwater, April 20th, 28th, then right away in May 1st to 10th, you have the Russian team championship. So that again, makes it very tough for the Russian players. So again, this is the thing is that by, by trying to lock people in for a very long period of time, um, it's just, it's not practical and it's not feasible, which is why I think the chess.com format is a lot, lot more favorable because you're talking about two days. So, so this is, this is why, um, I really do like the format and why it's very good for the players because you can play whenever you want to play. Like, it's like, let's just say Levon, I'll just use Levon or anybody for this matter. Let, let's take a look here. Okay. So, um, let me pull up the schedule here. So there's one on May 14th. May 21st and May 7th. So 7, 14, 21. Okay. So if I go back here, um, for example, you're, you're going to see, uh, where, where were we? April. Let me, let me check this again. We were right here. Yeah. Okay. April 30th and May 1st. So for example, you'll see that, uh, I guess for the Russians there still is maybe a conflict here with May 1st, but again, instead of having to play eight days right here and then have to play in the Russian team championship, you just, you just show up, you just show up and play, uh, you just play for two days and you have a shot at, at serious prize money here as well. Now, again, there's always going to be conflicts. Don't get me wrong. Since it's every week, but you don't have to play all the tournaments and you can still qualify for the final without it. So that's the, that's the big difference here, um, between the two. So what will happen now? Top players will sign off chess 24 tour. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but when you see, um, but when we go back to the article and you see that these following top players have already, uh, committed more or less playing most of the events, obviously not all the events. Um, I, I struggle to see the tour having a lot of success, but who knows, uh, there will be more opportunities for other players as well. Um, now the one last point that I'm going to say before we move on, uh, is that there is a chance I might still play one or two, um, one or two of the meltwater tournaments, but I will not be participating in the, in the fool, in the, in the fool tour. Um, that will not be happening. So I do want to put that out there as well. I sound very, um, I sound very excited about this. Yeah. I'm actually really excited about it because for me, the, there, there were many issues, obviously, with playing and playing the tour. But the biggest issue is that it's nine day, it's nine nine grinding days of five or six hours every single day. And over the board, every, everyone's used to it. But but online, when you when you do that, uh, you know, month after month, endlessly, it does start to get boring. That's also why you end up with a lot of situations where players start making draws. 
Um, so that that does play play a big role, a big role in it. Um, what if Chess Twenty Four will force players to choose? Who knows? Uh, if they for, but for example, I will say this: if they ask me to choose, I will I will just skip the whole tour and play on Chess.com. Um, so that is that is my uh, uh, that is my um my my answer to it, plain and simple. So <laughs> there you go. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. Again, it's 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 a much shorter format. There's there's significant money on the line. And um, also with it being a Swiss, you're going to have a lot of exciting games. You're not, you know, it's not going to be a situation where I play, um, where I play Wesley every single time. Um, and, you know, we end up making our 10 move draw. So it's, I'm just, I am pretty excited, pretty excited about it. And it's going to be really exciting going forward. So that's, that's what I would say. Yeah. Um, Daniel scammed can't play in this tour. Um, Daniel's. Oh, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not in the top hundred. I mean, who knows? There might be wild cards. Even who knows what they'll do. But at any rate, it, it will be. What about um? Oh, sorry. It's sorry. The, the the crop is off. Apologies. Um, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's 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 what I that's uh, that's going to happen. But in top players, but in Swiss top players will always win. I don't think that's true. You look at look at Noterbeck. He won the World Rapid. Look at Hans. Hans is in the top ten juniors. He will also um, Hans will also uh, probably be playing. I mean, they were very dangerous in the World Rapid, especially. So this should be a lot of fun. Really look looking forward to it. I'm worried about cheaters. Um, players have to have multiple webcams. I think they're using other stuff as well. So again, I mean, we'll we'll see. But but I think there there was something which basically says. I'm not sure on this, so this is not like fact or anything, but I think there's something that says like if you get caught cheating, your name will be out there or something like that. So, uh, I mean, if you're top 100 in the world, uh, that, that could spell the end of your career. So anyway, um, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. This was the big news that I that I was waiting to share with you guys um, because I, I had an idea about it uh, for, I won't say how long, but I had an idea about it, that, that something like this was going to be happening for some time. Were there multiple webcams when Tigran uh, Tigran has issue? I was not involved, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be really, really exciting. Looking forward to it. I don't know if I'll play every single week, uh, but when I do have the opportunities, I probably I'll try to play as often as I can. There might be a situation where I play two weeks and I just do some commentary. Um, Hans in the top hundred gl global now too. Yeah, e either way, either way, Hans can play as well. So gonna be exciting. Really, really exciting. Um, is it weird to do it w without? Um, uh, without the champ, I, you know, I'm just, I, I said this earlier, I'll say it again, just from some conversations I had, just from what I know, a lot of people just do, don't like the, I mean, in 2020, it was very novel online tournaments. Everybody had nothing else to do. 2021, mostly the same, but in 2022, over the board chess is coming back. There is no doubt about that. And so people are going to be focusing more on over the board than online. So trying to have a nine day tournament, eight or nine days, depending every month online it's just not realistic considering that most people will prefer playing over the board in these serious tournaments. Um, so that's, that's why I'm really excited about this. It's two days. Like say you have a bad day. That's fine. You, you have a bad day. You withdraw, you go home. You don't, you don't, you don't have to get stuck having to, um, having to play more. So exciting. Very exciting. Duda and MVL are going to play. Well, I mean, I think anyone in the top 100 can play. Um, there will be, as far as I know, they're not going to be any 30 page contracts trying to, um, Trying to say you have to tweet every day, trying to say that you have to do a course, or you have to do banter blitz, or you have to do commentary, or all these other insane, insane asks. Also, that you're you're not allowed to say anything negative about Chess Twenty Four. So, um, yeah, that that's 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 what I'm gonna say. Uh, so I am really excited, and I will wrap it up with that about um, about this. Uh, first one is February 12th. Now, unfortunately, the first one I don't believe that I can play because uh, I will be in Berlin. That's the only that's the only problem. The first one I can't I can't play. So, all right, you guys, on that.